Hey, this is YBR with BMG Drive, and today we have a low rider, and I want to go to somewhere where we can actually have some fun with that, and I'm thinking the port would be a really good place for that. The low rider is based on the Moonhawk, but it's a separate vehicle that you can select, and it only comes with the i6 by default if you wanted to. You could go into the part selector and add a bigger engine, but for a low rider, that really isn't that important. What's important is the suspension, which you can kind of see, actually. If you compare it to the stock Moonhawk, you'll notice those tires are not at the same angle, and actually the wheels are different as well. Aside from that though, it does look like a stock Moonhawk. I chose chrome because usually lowriders have crazy colors. But once you start hitting buttons, then it's like, oh well, that's definitely not a stock Moonhawk. So, the number one question I get on a video like this is, what is the controls? I'm going to do my best to explain those right now, although it just it's one of those things where you have to use it for a while to get used to it. But here's what they are. Starting with this wheel, it's T, G. You see what I'm doing? I'm just telling you the key I'm hitting as I'm hitting it. So T, G. Over here, we got Y, H, Y, H. In the back, we have F1, F3, F1, F3. And then over here, we have F2, F4, F2, F4. And when you're done messing around, you hit F5, which puts everything back to the stock height. And you could also hit F6, which lowers everything all at once, which I think looks really good, like... The normal Moonhawk, when it's at this height, is kind of ugly. When you drop that thing a few inches, boy, does it look a lot better. Like, if the Moonhawk came from the factory looking like that, I would be driving that car all the time in this game. But it doesn't. It looks like this. So you have F5 to do that, F6 to lower it, then you also have to have one that raises it, which is F9. And it raises, raises it so fast and violently that you can actually do a hop like that. So let's say, for example, I wanted to try to hop over that thing right in front of us. Whatever it is, just looks like a pile of junk. I could try to do that. Let's see if it'll work out. We're already lowered and hop! Just like that. And this is actually one of the easier things to do with this car. Because to do that, you just two buttons. Lower and raise. The one thing you got to watch out for is don't accidentally hit F7 or F8 while you're doing that. Because then the camera will just stop moving with the car and you won't hop or you'll teleport or something. you got to be careful not to hit the wrong button on that. So here's another thing we could do. Hop that gap! Perfect. I want more things to hop. What else can I hop? I wish it was high enough to hop those containers over there. That'd be crazy. That'd be a huge hop. I don't know how much force would be needed to do that, but it would be a lot. But so far, I've actually been able to hop everything I've seen and wanted to hop. That is too tall. I would try to hop that, but look. Look, it's hopeless. How are you going to hop it when you don't even hop high enough? Like, come on. It's not possible. Unless you do, like, something like that, but... Good luck driving while you're flying through the air. This isn't a plane, this is a car. Now that looks like it might be a challenge. That looks like a good thing to try to hop right there. That, I don't think I'll be able to do it, but I'm going to try to do it. Back this thing up, get as much speed as I possibly can. At least in a straight line. Like if I wanted more speed, I could probably come in all like sideways and going left to right and all that. But that's a little too much. For something as simple as this. I think this should be enough speed, so... Oh no, I bottomed out! And I made it! <laughs> I, that was terrible. I actually got caught on something, I think. What was it? That. I've never had a car low enough to actually get caught on that, but it tore off my whole exhaust system. It's just gone. Right there now. Well, now I have better ground clearance, I guess. Although there is a little bit of a glitchiness now. Whoops! Car itself still works though. I don't know if the glitchiness is from the the uh, car or the mod though. I can't tell you to be honest. What I do know though is that the vehicle itself has been reinforced quite a bit to allow it to work as a lowrider. The developer himself said if he left it the stock uh, strength, it would fall apart and bend in half way too easily. So it was kind of required to allow the vehicle to function properly. And in real life, they do reinforce the vehicle. So it makes sense that you would need to reinforce it. Now the suspension is obviously entirely different. And the one thing worth pointing out, though, is that this isn't exactly like a real lowrider suspension because it's been reinforced quite a bit to allow it to function in the game. If it was the same strength as a real one, according to the developer of the mod once again, it didn't seem to uh, survive quite as well as a real one. So it's a little bit stronger, quite a bit stronger, actually, than a real one would be. And right now, this car is not going exactly straight, so I'm going to go ahead and reset it. So now I'm going to try something really simple. I'm going to hit F6 to lower the suspension all the way. Then I'm going to hit F3 to raise just the left rear part of the suspension. And now we're going to try driving around on just the three wheels and seeing how well that works out. And it seems to, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Never mind. I was going to say it seems to work out okay until I actually had to go left or right. 
So if I want to go right, that is very frightening because the whole car tips over and stuff. It looks like it's going to fall over, but I guess it won't actually like roll over because it's so far to the left already. But it was very frightening to look at. Going to the left though is no problem. I just got to be like a NASCAR driver. Only make left turns and the car will work great. Yeah, it's working perfect. Oh, oh, I just saw something cool. Okay, watch this rear tire, the left rear tire. You can actually see the rubber deforming. Right here, watch. Rubber deformation. I've never actually had a car where I could really see it that clearly. As it's bouncing about, the, the rubber is just all being bent and pushed about. That's cool. If you're doing that in real life, I'm pretty sure you would have some really unusual wear on your tires. But in the game, there's no simulated tire wear yet, as far as I know, so I could bounce on that tire all I want. You can't tell me what to, when to stop or anything. And uh, yeah, I could do that all day. Let's, uh, let's try actually steering it again. I, I feel a little bit braver. I'm going to try going left and right. So, left and then right and, oh, whoa. Okay, oh, huh. I think it steers really good once you get two wheels on the ground. When you have only one wheel, when you have one on the ground, going to the right is bad. When you have two on the ground, it's way grippy. It just feels so weird. Going to the left, still not an issue. Going to the right, very scary. Going straight? How straight does it drive? Not very straight, does it? Like, I'm, I'm trying to keep it straight, but it keeps, like, going from one way to another. It kind of just drives crooked. I mean, that's to be expected, to be honest. I wouldn't expect it to drive straight. I was just wondering how straight would it be? Or how close to straight would it be, maybe? So that seems to work no problem. What if we uh, did, like, a variation on that? So this one, it's everything's lowered and then one is raised. What if we did everything is raised and one is lowered? Pretty much the same thing. Oh, wait. It feels different, actually, I think. Oh, my goodness. The handling is worse this way. I'm trying to go right, and it's more of a suggestion to the vehicle. Please go right, and if, it's, if it feels kind today, it might. Like, I'm trying to go right right here, and it just doesn't want to go that way. Okay, so this way is actually way worse to control, it feels like. Like, I got to do a three-point turn on a, or maybe even a four-point turn on a U-turn, it would seem like, if I wanted to actually drive safely. How about going left? Oh, going left feels great, though. Again, NASCAR mode. Left's only, although I only have one wheel on the ground, which means I can't go very fast. It's also going to do some crazy stuff to that rear differential, I'm pretty sure. I don't think you could actually break it doing that, but it would not be enjoying that one bit, I would think. That works no problem. What else could we do? Let's uh, let's see. Let's drop the car back down. And I know something that's pretty easy to do. We're going to raise the car all the way up. Stop the car. Maybe even put the parking brake on. And then we're going to hop the car. So to do that, we hit T and Y and then G and H. Both at the same time. So it's like T-Y, G-H, T-Y, G-H. And if we do that right, we can actually get this car hopping. All right. So I'm going to try to get a good camera angle. And here we go. Come on, up, oh, yeah, that's a nice hop. There we go, looking good. So yeah, just like that, you can hop the car pretty easily. And it holds up to that. I haven't noticed any uh, problems with it so far. I'm not the best at this, so I have to excuse the sometimes terrible hops. But I'm doing all right, like it's getting into the air. I just gotta keep having to adjust the camera, which means I have to take my hand off of the buttons and it's like, stop rolling away, where are you going? Like once I get in a good groove, it's like the car starts rolling away. It's like, why do you do that? Here's an idea. What about if we were on the inside then? Because I just, I'm annoyed with the car trying to run away, so I'm just doing it from the inside instead. So here we go. What do we see? And nothing really of interest. Like, yeah, there's the sky. I mean, I know I hopped pretty good because I got damage when I landed. Usually you have to hop pretty high for that to happen. Car's still going wherever it wants, though. Parking brake's on. It don't care. Well, that's less entertaining than I thought, so let's stop that. Uh, what about when we were driving before? We had one side raised and then, oh. Oh, this is not good. Okay, so I'm doing it before. The same thing we did before. One side was raised, the rest are lowered. That is scary. Like, from the inside, I really feel like this thing is going to just tip over. It's not scary on the outside because you can see, oh, three wheels are still on the ground. It did tip over. I had the right configuration, though, right? Yeah. I guess I just uh, drove a little too hard. So, uh, the thing to take out of that is it is very scary to be driving that car in that mode in the interior. 
Not so much on the exterior. Uh, what else can we do? Uh, I have an idea. We're going to lower the car, and then we're going to hit F3 and G at the same time. And we could go try to maybe roll the car over. Come on. I don't know if I... I probably could do it a little bit easier if I used the other side some. Like if I went... Oh, there we go. If I was using the uh, left and right side to kind of bounce it back and forth. But it seems like we got it okay with just using one side. I mean, that takes some coordination, though. If I wanted to go one side to the other, because I have to do one side, reset, other side, reset, other side, reset, other... Oh, that's just... There's no way I could do that consistently. It's just crazy. I'm just hitting buttons, and hopefully they end up being the right button, basically. Um, what else do lowriders do? I mean, you could do, like, the reverse of what I did earlier, where we go... Raise this one and then bounce the back, I guess. Let's see, is it uh, F1 and F3? or No, it's F like this. There we go. I mean, we could do that, too. Actually, it looks better when you do it like this way. Or maybe I just have better timing, or maybe the, the ones in the back are stronger. But you could definitely hop higher this way, it seems like. I like hopping this way better, way more. It's easier, it seems like. Maybe I just got better. I have no idea. Anyways, you could do that, and I mean, we could try hopping like this, but I don't think that one works as well. I don't guess it does. I mean, that's some height. We're just bouncing all over the place, but we did get some height. This one's harder to time, because I'm like trying to look at front and rear, and I think I need to stay flat, and that's easier said than done. Anyways. I'm trying to think, what else can you possibly do with the lowrider that they do in real life? And I can't think of anything, so let's just, uh, let's do some weird things. Let's go ahead and change maps, and then I want to have some fun at... No, not vehicle! Uh, where should I go? Uh, let's do ultimate test terrain, that sounds good. So now we can do some things with, like, jumps and stuff. So we can get the lowrider, and we'll change the color up this time. We'll make it fire red. And we can do things like the jumps over there, so I can lower it. And I'm going to just go to the jump and I'm going to hit jump the car when we get to the top of the jump and see what that does. It'll probably, like, go very, very short for distance because of this, but... Yeah, that's not a very good distance. Not at all. Did the car survive that? I mean, this guy has strong suspension set up, so it looks like it did. Keep going. Go to the next ramp. By the way, these wheels have terrible traction. Or the tires have terrible traction, I guess. Hopped it, and we didn't have enough speed. We just kind of crashed. Car still drives, though. Keep on moving. Where else can we go to hop? Maybe I should put the bigger engine in it. I think it might weigh more, but I don't think it will matter too much. Hop over there! That was exactly what I wanted to do. Okay, it was more amazing than what I was hoping. Except we got stuck. So enough of this uh, weak engine, this little i6. Let's get the supercharged v8 and i don't even know if i'll be able to use the power because this car has like no traction but it's the thought of power that really makes me happy and i think kind of got stuck the way i spawned it i should have took it off of that first but you make mistakes every now and then didn't matter much so let's try this we're gonna go in here have the car real low and then hop oh no oh no like a turtle i wonder if i jiggle this enough if i can like free it somehow Oh no, I hit freeze physics. I'm just hitting every button there is. Doesn't seem to really work. One thing I am noticing is it, yeah, the engine actually moves when I'm hitting this button. The engine is moving. That's crazy looking. Like, that just looks crazy. I know there was something about the motor mounts being modified. I guess that's what the author meant. What else could we do? I think, uh, I did what I wanted to really. I wanted to hit a jump and then go whoop and just hop it. And that's exactly what I've done, and it's fun to do that. It makes the jumps really terrible in terms of distance, but it's fun to do. Unless you flip over, in which case it's not fun. It's sad, because it's like I'm stuck. Like a turtle. Reset! Then I'm good! We can also do a suspension test. But like, let's see if we lower it, and then we're just gonna smack into all of these, probably. Alright, make sure we're nice and lined up. Gonna go pretty slow. I'm gonna go head on. Ow, ow. Ow, I was stuck. I actually got stuck. Check this out. Oh. Yeah. Now who's this? This, oh, this is not comfortable. I can tell you that for sure. But we can at least get over it. 
I was going to say, now who's the best suspension, but this is terrible in terms of actual comfort. You're just like, oh, my back. And I can't even drive straight. It's so bouncy. Because half the time, my front wheels aren't even on the ground. No way, it's getting stuck again. No, it's not. All right, what if we put it to normal height? Oh, that's a little bit better. It's still not comfortable, but at least you're not breaking your spine. I don't know how that compares to the stock vehicle, though, at the stock height. I should do a comparison. I'm going to do the first section again, though, because the first section has different spacing than the last section. I might be able to just zoom through it if I have enough momentum. So we're hitting it about 25 miles per hour. And... It sounds like crazy on the end, just like, but we got through it. Now I'm going to try doing the exact same thing with the stock suspension setup and see how well it does. I need to actually not hit the parts menu. I need to just grab a normal Moonhawk. And this is based on the i6. So I'll use the i6. And I'm just going to switch out the engine on that one too. And it should be a fair comparison. So you want to hit this at about 25 miles per hour. There we go. And... Oh, interesting. The one with the low rider setup actually made it. This one bottomed out and like blew up some crucial part of the car where it can't drive anymore. I'm assuming it's part of the transmission or the drive line or something. Looks like the drive line is gone. So that's not good. So the low rider is actually better at that. Ooh, what about the uh, what about off-roading? Okay, this is really dumb. But how well does it off-road? So this is a really dumb idea. I honestly don't know what I expect to happen, but I want to see what happens. So I'm just going to take it lowrider, raise it all the way. I'm going to try to strategically climb this area right here and see how well it does. And if it works, maybe we could do some more off-roading. At least it at least did that, no problem. That's pretty impressive. I don't think it could climb that one. That one's too tall, the one right in front of me. But if I strategically plan this route, it might have a chance. So if I went like this direction, and I gotta go fast because the next section is a another big one. So maybe you know what? Instead of doing that, I have an, a suspension that can hop. Why not make use of it, right? So I'll line it up like this, lower it, and we're gonna just try to hop that thing. I don't know if this will work to be honest, but it should be fun. So go 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 hop! Yes, it works. Ha <laughs> ha. Just need that good planning and eventually you'll make it, maybe. Oh, I'm not lowered all the way. Yeah, I thought I hit lowered, but I guess I missed. And I don't know where to go from here, to be honest. This is looking harder and harder, but the point is, is if you really, can, if you really try, you could actually get somewhere using this thing off-roading. Like, that was amazing. Like, just that ground clearance is really doing it a good job here. Now, I'm not, I don't know if I want to take it to real off-roading because the way the tires are, I don't know if they would have enough traction to do that. It might just not have enough. I don't know if I'll try that. I'm just going to... Come on. I'm just trying to go real fast through there because I'm getting a little bored of this, to be honest. But, yeah, point is, it does it. It's just okay, though. It's not good at it. Anyways, there are other things we could do, but I don't want to use this map because I still don't have the textures fixed and I actually don't remember... I can't fix them, actually, I should say. There used to be a fix for it, but then that didn't work anymore. I'm like, I don't know. So I'm just going to go to a different map that has working textures, which could be like uh, the... Um, let's go to Mountain Bash. The Mountain Bash. Now, this one, I expect some trouble from the car because it's not an off-roader, period. The other one, is still had normal cement pavement, which was to its advantage. This one has dirt, which is not good for these tires. But we're going to try it anyways. And also, no rear-wheel drive. Oh, yeah, this is not working at all. We're already stuck. Well, that went well. I'm not even going to bother trying, really. I don't even know if I should. Like, that was just so bad. I don't know if I have a hope. You have to be some sort of off-roading god over here to be able to do this. Especially with the uh, terrible churning radius here. You're seeing this, like, four-point churn right there? Yeah. Oh, goodness. It just... Okay, yeah. No traction, dude. This is not fun. I can't go right. I'm telling it to go right, but it can't. I have no traction. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and uh, end the video here. So, until next time, this is YBR. I'll see you next time. Hop!